hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so let's quickly look at this question and see how we can uh, respond to it or how we can answer it so the question says construct a triangle abc shown in the figure below given its perimeter equal to 120 millimeters and the ratio of sides 3 to 4 to 5 so this is a triangle abc we know that the perimeter is um, 120 millimeters and the ratio of sides is 3 to 4 to 5. So let's quickly go into uh, answering this question, just the first part. We'll deal with the second part later on, which is, is just um, to draw a circumscribed circle on the triangle after we've drawn the triangle. So the first question is asking us to construct the given uh, triangle there. So the first thing is you draw a line which will equal the perimeter. So we're going to have a faint line. Let's draw a faint line that will equal the perimeter. Um, since it's 120, we can, uh, that's 120. So it should end here. So 120, a faint line. So I'm going to start from 22 and end at 34 there. So I'm going to call this line, line D, E, because the triangle has to be ABC. So I'm leaving ABC for the actual triangle. So this line is equal to the perimeter. So you can just measure. So 120, which should be about that okay so 120 line de there and then i'm going to divide this line which is the perimeter into uh this given ratio here so how do we do that we draw a slant line and just draw a slant line from any point on the given line from any point on this perimeter i'll draw a slant line Of any length and any angle and then this slant line I'm going to make the total ratio so the total ratio will be uh, the sum of all these ratios here so 3 plus 4 plus 5 so 3 plus 4 is 7 and then 7 plus 5 is 12 so the total ratio is 12 so I'm going to make 12 equal marks along this slant line so we'll use the, the divider so you open your divider or your compass, maybe we, let's use a compass, to any convenient radius of your choice, as long as you maintain that radius. So make 12 equal marks. So from there, we have one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we have zero there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then here we will number these uh, according to the given ratio. So the first one is three. So we'll count from here. Zero, one, two, three. So this one is going to be my three. And then from three, the next one is four. So we'll count from three here. This one will be our zero. So one, two, three, four. So four. And the last one should be five because from four, we are going to have one, two, three, four, five like that. Okay. And then at this point, we'll close uh, with a line. We connect the last point of the line, which represents the perimeter, to the last point on the number of divisions there, which is E and 5. So here, we are going to draw a line like that. And then we draw a parallel line to this line at point 4 and point 3. 
So here we get the set square. We make sure that we align it with a line that we want to draw a parallel line to. We get another set square. We can so I'll put it this side. Okay. And then here I'll just slide it at point four. Draw draw that line and make sure that it is cutting the perimeter at some point there and slide it to point three and draw another line okay so we have these lines and then let this point be point a and this one here be point b on the triangle so we are looking for point c which should be located somewhere on top there so you get your compass you place it at point a open it to d here which is the first point there which is the end point of the line okay yeah point d and then you strike an arc like this and then you move to point B. Point B, you open your compass to point E, which is the other end point. Okay. And then you strike another arc to meet with the first one. So the point where the two arcs are meeting, that is your point C. Point C. So the only thing that is remaining is for you to draw your triangle by connecting the dots so from this point to that point draw a line from point b to point c you draw a line and you outline the line a b like that so there is your triangle which answers the first question. So the second question says, draw a circumscribed circle to triangle ABC. So you have this triangle ABC, and then you want to draw a circle outside. So for you to draw a circumscribed circle, you bisect any of the two sides of the triangle. So for example, I'm going to bisect line AB and line uh, BC here. So bisecting, you get your compass, you open to any convenient radius that is more than half. So because of space inside the triangle, I will open it to a, a length that is more than even the, the length itself. So strike an arc there. I'll strike an arc even this side. You come to the other point. You strike an arc. Strike an arc. So this is get rid of this one so that we don't get confused okay so these are the two arcs so the points are this one and that one there okay okay so that is our first perpendicular bisector so the other one is this line here so again I'll open it to another radius which is just more than half of the given line so strike an arc this side strike an arc this side you come to this other point strike an arc and this one here you strike an arc like that and then from this point we Okay, so from that point to that point, we draw a line. Okay, like that. And then where the two lines meet, that should be the center for your um, circle. So you just stand there on the point of intersection of the two bisectors. Then you open to any of the corners, you'll be able to draw a circle 
outside the triangle okay So that is how we draw uh, the triangle when you've been given the um, perimeter and the ratio of sides. And this is how we circumscribe a circle on that triangle. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share, subscribe if you haven't already.